Right now, more than 52,000 vote-by-mail ballots are ready to be counted by the Duval Elections Office. That's nearly an 8% turnout. The amount in Duval County and the amount statewide has been record-breaking. Voters also continue to show up in person to drop off their ballot downtown and make sure that their votes will be counted. News for Jack supporter Jim Pickett was there to observe the process for an election that is just 25 days away. These voters say they're not taking a chance and want to make sure their votes will be counted. That's why they're dropping off their vote by mail or what we used to call absentee ballots in person. This is secure. I think there are a lot of eyes on this and I feel very comfortable. But while I was there, I found one first time voter who's having a unique experience. This is German Terzi Yolov. He's from Russia and about two years ago, he became a U.S. citizen. I asked him how important this election is to him. This is our future. What do you think of this process here in America? That's great, great, great process. It's a good That's process? That's a very great process. If, if you had to compare this to the to in Russia, did you have the same rights, the same type of rights? Uh, no, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> and to make sure the process goes smoothly, the supervisor of elections office is testing equipment, and they're getting ready to process the vote-by-mail ballots. We're working every day on, on uh, the mail ballots. There's kind of a misconception about when we do the work of counting. Uh, we can't count until second day of early voting. If you're tracking your ballot and it says it's been counted, well, that really won't happen until a week from Tuesday. And with early voting, they're getting ready for that. There will be something different at those sites, drop boxes for those who request it and receive ballots in the mail. We're still doing things to, to, to be ready. Uh, we've got a new uh, strategy now with the drop boxes. <clears throat> and so we've had to make sure that we can put them in locations that one will be secure and two, uh, we have to worry about the weather. So with record-breaking mail ballots making their way into the office, they are also beginning the process of verifying signatures. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station. And tonight we want to know what you say. How confident are you in the election process? Highly confident? Somewhat confident? Or not at all confident? You can vote by going to newsforjax.com slash you say or on the News for Jax app. Look under the community tab and select you say. And we'll have your results coming up at 530 and at 6.